Hey guys, this is Brian at Obedia, and I'm going to give you a quick tip today uh, on how it is that we can make use of playlist recording and loop recording in Pro Tools. And this is really useful for recording vocals and just about any other instrumentation that you might be doing in Pro Tools. So let's go ahead and leap right in. Uh, I'm using Pro Tools 9. This is very much the same in Pro Tools 8. It's partially the same in Pro Tools 7. If you're in Pro Tools 7, this is going to be a little bit different. Uh, it's not quite as robust as Pro Tools 9. Um, Pro Tools 9 really makes the best use of loop recording and playlist recording, uh, in my own opinion. So anyway, let's go ahead and just jump right into this. So what you're going to find sometimes when you're recording a song is that you want to re-record one piece multiple times. It takes a long time sometimes to get a vocal perfect. And sometimes you'll get one part of a vocal just fine or a drum part just fine, but you just can't get that one piece. And so what you want to do is you want to record that one piece multiple times. And so your option usually would have been to create another track and record on that new track or something like that. But with playlist recording, we don't need to do any of this. And uh, this is the really awesome thing about playlist recording in Pro Tools. So a couple things we have to do to get it set up. Uh, now this is kind of an optional thing, but this is something I like to do. Uh, go into your setup and go to preferences. I'm on Windows, so it's set up in preferences. If you're on the Mac, of course, you can click on the, on the Pro Tools text and you're going to select preferences. So when the preferences dialog box opens up, go to the operation tab. And if it's not already selected, click on automatically create new playlists when loop recording and then hit OK. The reason that this is a good idea is that if you forget to make a playlist or something like that, if you forget to make a new playlist in Pro Tools, Pro Tools will automatically make a new playlist for you anytime you go into loop recording. So this can be really useful and just save you some headache down the road. So that's an optional thing. You don't have to do it, but I like to do it in my Pro Tools setup. So now let's talk about setting up a new playlist for playlist recording. If you click here on your playlist selector, this is of course where we're used to seeing the name of our track, but what this is actually the name of is the name of our playlist. So if you click this, you'll notice that in my case, I've already created one other playlist. It's called test, but my primary playlist is called audio one one. Now, if I had named this track previously, it would be called snare or drums or something like that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a new track. So just click on new and you're going to get a pop out box. It asks you to make a new name for your playlist. We'll just call this vocals and hit OK. So now you notice that my drum track has gone away. Well, have no fear. It is still there. If we want to go back to those drums or anything that we previously had, click on the playlist selector and select the playlist that you had your previous waveforms on. So there's my previous waveform. But in my case, I want to just start clean and uh, make use of a clean playlist. So I'm going to click and I'm going to select vocals. So now right here, I have a clean playlist ready to go. Okay, so that's set and ready, but a couple other things I need to do. If it's not already enabled, you're going to want to enable link timeline and edit selection. There's a few ways to do this. You can click on options and if it's not selected, put a check mark next to link timeline and edit selection. This can also be accessed with shift plus the forward slash button on your keyboard. So those are two ways that you can access this. The third way is by simply pressing the link timeline and edit selection button, which is right up here in your transport in Pro Tools. If it's not enabled, just enable that. What this is going to do is it's going to cause Pro Tools to pay attention to the edit selection that you make here in your edit window, and it's going to cause the transport to start playing back at that selection. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and just select about four bars right here at the beginning of my edit window, and now I'm almost ready to start loop recording. The last thing I need to do, if it's not already enabled, is enable loop playback and recording. So I can do that by simply right-clicking on the play button in my transport, and I can select loop. And I'm going to do the same thing for my record button. I'll select loop. You're going to notice you have these little loop icons on those buttons. That means that loop recording and playback is set up and ready to go. Okay, so now all that I'm going to need to do is record enable my track. And after I record enable my track, I'll start recording. And I'll show you guys how we can do a few recording passes 
And each time I do a new recording pass, Pro Tools is going to get to the end of my loop selection, which I have right here. It's going to loop back and start recording again. And then after we've done that, I'll show you guys how we can make use of these comped vocals in order to create our final vocal. So here we go, I'm gonna start recording and just do a few recording passes. And this is recording pass number one in Pro Tools. I'm fooling around with recording today. And this is recording pass number two in Pro Tools. And again, I'm just having some fun with comping vocals. And this is recording pass number three in Pro Tools, just having some fun with comping vocals today. And this is recording pass number four in Pro Tools. And we're going to be experimenting with comping vocals very soon. Okay, so when I'm all done, I just hit stop. And the pr the last vocal uh, pass, which I did, is going to be represented here in my playlist. But here's where things get really cool. Take a look at your track view selector right here and click on the little pull down button and you're gonna see an option for playlists. Now, if you click that, you're gonna notice that you're gonna get these pop out tracks from your primary track right here. And these are all of my previous recording passes, which I had done and I can listen to them by simply playing them back. I'm just gonna go ahead and solo the comp lane right now and I'll play back one of these passes. And this is recording pass number one in Pro Tools. I'm fooling some fun with comping vocals. And is recording pass number three in Pro Tools. So you can hear right there, I have quick access to all of the different vocal comps, which I did on my playlist in Pro Tools. So this is great because if I decide that I like one of these more than I like my final take, which sometimes is the case, all I need to do is go ahead and select the vocal comp, which I would like to make use of, now you're going to notice you have this little button right here, this little up arrow. This arrow is going to cause for the currently selected comp to be moved up to your main playlist. So all I need to do is click on that arrow, and now I've moved that take up to my primary playlist. But let's say that I like specific pieces of some of these comps. I don't like one as a whole, but I do know that I got it right in the first part on one take, I got it better in the second part on another take and better in a third part on the third take, I can cut these comps up and make use of different pieces of them. So let's say I wanted to use the first part of one of my comps, I can just select that section. And now again, making use of the move to primary playlist button, I can just click on that and now I've moved that piece of that comped vocal up to my, my, my main playlist. Now I can do the same for another comp right here and move that piece up and I can do another piece for another comp right here. I'll just select this last piece, move this one up. So now I've created an entirely new vocal based off of multiple vocal comps, and I can play it back. It's gonna sound a little crazy, obviously, because these are just multiple pieces, but let's just play this back and see what it sounds like. And this is recording pass number two in Pro Tools, and again, some fun with comping vocals today. So again, you can hear it sounds a little crazy because I just cut things up, but the very cool thing about this is that let's say that you were working on a verse to a song and in between different takes, you got that verse right in, let's say four different comps. You can glue those pieces together to create an entirely new vocal piece, all from your many vocal comps, which you have previously created. When you're all done and you know that you're done comping, all you need to do is go ahead and go back into waveform view, take a look at your track edit view right here and select waveform. And now you'll be working with this playlist. Again, you can continue mixing your track. Again, if you wanna switch playlists, all you need to do is select your playlist selector right here and you can move around between the many different playlists that you might have. Or of course, if you're happy with the one that you have, you can just continue mixing your track until you're done and happy with it. So I hope that you guys find this useful. Again, really, really useful for vocals and for drums and really just about any other instrumentation. Saves you a lot of time in the studio and uh, will definitely allow you to move very, very quickly as you are recording in Pro Tools. Please keep in touch with me, guys. My email is brian at obedia.com. Find me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obediatutor. And of course, on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Obedia Tutor. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy music making to you. Happy mixing. Keep making music and I'll see you guys next tutorial. Take care.